Edpuzzle is a powerful formative assessment tool that turns watching videos from a passive activity to an engaging and interactive learning experience. With Edpuzzle, you can track student activity, embed multiple choice and open-ended responses, and provide customized instructions, introductions, and commentary on what the students are watching. Here's how you can get started. Visit www.edpuzzle.com. Click on Sign Up in the upper right-hand corner. Select I'm a teacher on this screen. Note that you can be both a teacher and a student, but for our purposes today, you'll be acting in your role as a teacher. You don't need a Google account to sign up with Edpuzzle, but I recommend it. Click Sign In with Google. Select your account or log in. Complete the requested information and check I agree. Then click Create New Account. Type in the name of your school. This will allow you to connect with other educators using Edpuzzle at your school. Then click Continue. Select your grade level and subject area. You can choose more than one of each if applicable. Verify your email address. At the top of your dashboard, you'll initially see this message. Check your email to find the Verify Your Email Address email from Edpuzzle. Click the button and you'll be brought to this page. Then click Get Started. Now that you have verified your account and are in your dashboard, click on Content at the top of your screen. On the home page, you'll see Trending Content. On the left, you have many other selections to choose from, including Curriculum, Your School, and My Content which is most likely empty currently. Under Popular Channels, you can explore content from a number of providers, including Edpuzzle, YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talks, Veritasium, Numberphile, and Crash Course. To get started, let's look at a video that's under socio-emotional learning at the middle school level. Here's a video called, What's Your Why? We see the video at the top, which is straight from YouTube. Then we see a number of versions below that. We'll check that out in a minute. Lastly, we see several similar videos at the bottom. For now, we shall explore one of the versions created by another Edpuzzle user. Again, you'll see the same video, but notice a couple of differences, including these markers on the timeline and several video events on the side. Click Edit and you are brought to the editing page. At the top you'll see Cut, which allows you to trim the video, so if you only want students to watch part of the video, you can set that here. VoiceOver is not available on YouTube videos, but if you use a video from another source, you can record yourself talking over the video. Questions is where you add or edit questions at various points throughout the video. On this video, which already has questions embedded, click on one of the markers and the question pops up on the right. You can edit the question by clicking the pencil, or you can add an additional question at this point by choosing either the multiple choice, open-ended, or note button. Click finish when you are done editing. Once you are done, you are ready to share or assign, which we'll discuss in detail in the next video.